I'm Gina Marie Antonini, and I'm sitting here with Pastor Willie Anderson, Jr. And we talked a little bit about um, Community of Hope Coalition that we started together. Um, I loved working in this coalition. I loved working in the community. Um, I was his executive coordinator. We started, um, as we spoke about earlier, um, preschool programs. We did some re-entry programming right. with the county. Um, we actually got a grant from the county that we were very hard for. And we're really wanting to, um, we really wanted to get into the community and help um, bring people back, back to the church. And, and, and let me say this to you because you, you were an intricate uh, part of that, that movement. And of course, uh, with you being a resident here in Hayward for so many years, your father is an entrepreneur here and you are an entrepreneur. And uh, when I first met you, of course, uh, you're a USC graduate, you're back on this political I science. <laughs> so uh, we were able to do a number of different uh, community forums, political forums. And so I want to applaud you and thank you, oh, thank you. Uh, for being uh, there during that time. We had a good time and, we, and, I, and I like to believe we made an impact. So I just wanted to interject well, thank that. You and, I, and I believe you did make an impact. And my thing is I did it for Tom because he was my friend. And um, I just believe that we as neighbors and we as a community need to come together to make that change because no one else is going to do it. So we need to do it ourselves. But can you speak to what happened? We, we mentioned that we need to come together. And I know you're interviewing me, but, <laughs> know, but right? if you can speak to those who are watching uh, that dreadful uh, holiday season. Sure, it was Thanksgiving of 2009 on a Tuesday night. Tom and his daughter Chelsea were walking to the store to get ice cream with our two family dogs. Um, as they do a lot, um, we would always joke around and he actually caught me outside walking my dog when he gave me for my birthday and asked me if I wanted an ice cream. I said, no, that's okay. Um, just be safe. We'll see you soon. And um, an hour and a half, two hours later, I went out to walk my dog Luna and I saw the lights on so I figured everything was okay. And then the next morning, um, his stepdaughter sat me down and said, you know, Tom's passed. And I'm like, what happened? And he was shot by a random guy walking the street because he was upset that his dog sniffed him. So. Um, and we came together. And we came together because of that to do something for me. We had a visual for him, and we've tried to hold it every year since then. Um, hopefully, this year maybe we can come together and do that again. Yeah. Um, and just um, you know, you know, praise him for what he helped bring into the community. That that was a critical time here in this in the community. Absolutely. Uh, B Street. Uh, of course, um, I would just. I'll say this to, to make another point that Tom was cutting him before. He was a white gentleman. He was. And um, of course, I'm African American. And, and, it, and it speaks to, of course, the issues of race, uh, even in, our, in the context of race today, when there's so much tension, uh, heightened tension, um, with uh, the, the peeling back, the uncovering, the unveiling uh, of the biases uh, that, that have been more so revealed with the shootings, unarmed shootings of many of these African Americans uh, um, that has transpired across the country. But I say that that one thing that's missing in this context to a large, to, to a large extent when we talk about race is the issue of sympathy. Uh, Dr. King wrote, of course, in uh, what do, Where Do We Go Now? Uh, that he says either we will live together as brothers or we will die as fools. And of course, he's also famous for the statement that the most segregated day uh, of the week uh, is the day of Sunday, where people uh, uh, go to their own various churches uh, and places of worship, and it tends to be, of course, based on racial lines. That's not necessarily the intent, but it happens that way. So I, I speak to the issue of Thomas Cunningham, that as an African-American, when I saw uh, and heard about what had transpired that this gentleman was killed, not that far away from our ministry, our church, uh, and I didn't know him at all, but I felt it was necessary Absolutely. for me to speak uh, to the community or speak out just because of this life that was lost. And as a consequence, uh, the community had come together. And then his family even flew here and they had services. And I made it my business with my wife and we took my children to uh, his homegoing services without having ever met him. But it was the right thing to do because I identified with the pain of his family. And I think, by and large, as a country, that's what's necessary and what's needed and what's missing in the context of racial discussion. Uh, when we find inequities, when, we, when inequities are revealed, regardless of the color, then there is a need for people to come together, reasonable Absolutely. people uh, who are who identify with the pain of struggle, and then from there begin the dialogue. So I wanted to share that. Uh, no, I, I appreciate that because again, it goes back to community and neighborhoods. And if the community doesn't come together and help make change, no matter what color a person is, oh, it's never going to happen. 
you know, being being African American, me being Latina, we need to come together and and bring our, our cultures together, and we can be strong. Very much. So. Very strong. But isn't that what Image Changes Church is about? It is. It, it's it, about bringing. So, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you That's off. That's okay. <laughs> it's about bringing all walks of life together, um, to worship together, to make a difference in our neighborhoods and our communities. And you don't have to give up your identity. It's a respect of identity. Uh, and I know we're going to talk about that a little bit more in another segment, but uh, I want people to know Image Changes Church, again, September uh, the 11th. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Right 1004 here. B Street. Tell Lottie Dottie and everybody uh, it's going down. The movement is started. Thank you very much.